Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' office says the Biden administration secretly flew more than 70 flights of migrants from the southern border to Jacksonville, Florida. The governor's office says the flights landed overnight from the summer months through September at Jackson International Airport. Port. Joining us now is former DHS Acting Deputy Chief of Staff, Laura Reyes, uh, to weigh in and react to this story. Uh, Laura, thanks for coming on today. If, if you could, just expand on the fact uh, that we're learning details about a reported migrant flight, 70 of them from the border into Jacksonville. Uh, your thoughts on this story? How common is this? Well, this is now the second state where we're seeing this happen. Uh, we saw earlier reports of similar flights happening during the middle of the night to New York. And apparently the Biden administration, like the Obama administration, uh, tends to do things in the middle of the night that they don't want the American public to see. And this is just yet another example. Now, Secretary of Homeland Security Mayorkas and President Biden describe their open border policies as humane. But if they're so proud of their policies, why are they doing this under the darkness of night? And the result is that over 1.7 million illegal aliens have been encountered at the southwest border just this fiscal year. Clearly, they can't all stay at the border, and they don't. And so the government is contracting out these flights to spread them around the country. And you've got questions, um, obvious questions, about who's on these flights, right? Who are these individuals? Uh, we'd heard in New York that it was migrant children. Well, where are these children's parents? Uh, is the solution separating children from their parents here? Where's the transparency from this administration uh, in your analysis? Are there questions that you would like answered? Absolutely. There is no transparency about this. And again, midnight flights are just a, an example of that. Uh, the administration says most of them are children. I, I think they say that to garner sympathy on this issue. They aren't all, all children. But also, this administration is responsible for attracting and enticing so many unaccompanied alien children to this country. Uh, when Secretary Mayorkas continues to, stay, to state that unaccompanied alien children will not be turned away, what, what should we expect? Of course, there's going to be more unaccompanied alien children. And they are unaccompanied, as you know. Where are their parents? And this is separation of children. Um, as much as the Trump administration was hammered by the left uh, about such separation, they are silent now and, sure. and try to portray their policies as more humane. And these are anything but. Yeah. And, and then, of course, what resources are, are these migrant children being provided with once they're relocated into new neighborhoods and places that they they might have never been to before, of course, without a parent nearby? Uh, you mentioned the criticism for the Trump administration uh, because that continues on as we're now learning uh, that the White House is considering certain payments to these migrant families that were separated back in 2018. Uh, we don't don't know the value of that. Uh, it had been reported by the Wall Street Journal as potentially up to $450,000. Here's the White House's response to that reporting. Watch this. Now that the president is on the record uh, as of Saturday supporting compensation for illegal immigrants who are separated from family at the border, who counts as separated? If somebody was just separated for a few hours or a few days, would they be eligible to settle a suit and get this payment from DOJ. So, Peter, I will direct you to the Department of Justice for any specifics on that. We have, we have, you've asked us this question. We have answered it, and I will refer you to the Department of Justice on any specifics. So, again, deflecting to the DOJ there. Uh, what is typical in this case here? What are your expectations for how this headline and story plays out? Well, I think this will stay in the news because Americans are appalled by this, that we would pay illegal immigrants who were deported after receiving due process, uh, that we would pay them American taxpayer money in the sums of almost half a million dollars per person. That's just astounding. Um, it's bad policy. It will create even more illegal immigration to our border, which we certainly don't need right now. Uh, but it's also a glimpse into lawsuits against the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, the Justice Department attorneys represent the government in court. And too often, their default is to settle such lawsuits. Uh, DHS is one of the most sued agency in the government uh, because the application backlog for immigration benefits is so large and so long. Understandably, 
uh, bona fide applicants want their cases adjudicated so they can move on with their lives. Sure. And so we have to prepare for longer backlogs and more lawsuits, which will result in more settlements. Yeah, and again, the transparency uh, lacking in both of these stories that we've touched on. Laura Reese joining us on the program. Thank you, Laura. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Thanks. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.